so you've joined me on this abs it's honestly absolutely gorgeous day uh, it does actually feel like spring now, I've got the last load of hay on from uh, last year's crop uh, so that's going a few miles up the road uh, to a alpaca farm and it also means I get to invoice them uh, so because it is a community led initiative uh, and they do actually buy quite a few bales off me I've always said that I won't invoice them until the last load is delivered um, just so they have that guarantee that they, ha they have hay um, throughout the uh, winter period so yeah because this is the last load I get to invoice them and I finally get to see the return of the hard work I'm putting over uh, last summer uh, so what I'll do I'll uh, just end this little bit here, but we'll also do a bit more filming later on Because uh, we do actually have to drive through the centre of Sheffield So I'll, uh, I'll show you that as well because it is quite Driving a tractor through the centre of the city it's, uh, it's entertaining to say the least and I'll explain why later on so we've reached the alpacas, I don't know if you can see them, they're just um, to the left hand side of the pond. Uh, beautiful Sheffield, so you can see just how hilly it is actually. Uh, so this is up near Cross Pool, uh, and I'm just going to ring the owner now to let me in. What do you think buddy? You happy? Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Right, so I've just got here, I'll just wait for this car to come past and, va and van and then we are pulling into that entrance but it is extremely tight Have to get right over, right, right over. Swing it in at the last possible minute. Keep tight to that fence post. Right, right over. And we're in. Four wheel drive on. Low gear. We've got some alpacas waiting for us down at the bottom. Fantastic. Right, so I don't know if you can see, but chap's just opening the gate up has been delivered let's see if I can get out now tie it up easy Flashing lights on. Air conditioning on. And now for really big hill.
So what we're doing now, we've just picked the stranded bale up. So last year, it went bang in an almighty fashion. So you can see that the PTO shaft isn't where it's meant to be. And just inside there, there's a spline comes out of the gearbox, a nut or a rope in shade off that. And it meant the slip clutch moving forward. Uh, and then it just caused a whole host of issues. So PTO actually fell onto the floor uh, and just started banging itself. So that's now twisted. So I've had to buy a new PTO shaft. Uh, had to replace some of the parts from the slip clutch. Uh, but what I'll do, I'll park it in the barn and it, it needs a real good tidy. I should have I should have moved it before um, winter. But I've just got that much on and I've just lost the a whole load of enthusiasm with this small baler uh, because of what it actually did to me so you like your machinery to to just work it was doing and then it just went bang and i actually got out and kicked it that's <laughs> that's how annoyed i actually was uh, so yeah we are just moving the small baler um up into the barn to get it sorted. Oh, my mate. So, it has actually been a fairly productive day today. Uh, delivered some hay, uh, brought my baler back in from the field because uh, the parts are here for that. I'm just waiting for the PTO shaft so that can get sorted. Uh, spoke to uh, Steve regarding the last three lambs I've got uh, so they are actually booked in uh, on Monday uh, in the abattoir so there's only three three left but it's uh, the last three so I don't have to worry about them anymore which is good uh, and I have some very very eager customers to try it so yeah, everybody's uh, everybody's happy. It's been a, a good, successful day, and I'm going home feeling fairly positive. Uh, so much so, I might actually buy myself a bottle of wine on the way home uh, when I fill the car up. Thank you. So yeah, happy days. <laughs>